Hey guys, it's Yaya. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're introducing the Oslo 2019 Holiday Series. This is going to be all about butter stars. We're going to be introducing three amazing butters from Oslo Organics over the course of three holidays and three months. And each month you will have an opportunity to win some of the butter, the star butter. So are you excited about that, you guys? This month we're jumping right into Halloween, of course. For this Halloween, I wanted to do something like a mixture between a butter and a cream so it's kind of like a hybrid which kind of fits for halloween i guess so let's jump right in our star butter this month is going to be cocoa butter you guys know how much i adore cocoa butter is literally my favorite butter it has this very crumbly texture in its raw state but when you mix it into your creation it just gives it such a fluffy light just beautiful texture and when you put it on your skin it melts right in absorbs super well super fast faster than other butters and it doesn't leave this greasy feel behind it definitely just feels velvety and smoothed against your skin it's light it doesn't clog your pores so you can use it for face creams you can use it for your skin or your hair so this is just an amazing butter i love it so much and i use it in almost all of my creations um it's considered i guess a semi hard too hard butter so it's very great for stability when it comes to textures or mixing into other different creams and stuff so this will not be like a legit cream because there will not be any water emulsifiers preservatives or anything like that we're going to try to keep it as natural and simple as possible so oslo organics was nice enough to send me over all of emulsifying wax which you guys know i have used before and we're going to just test it out we're going to see if we can use this emulsifying wax with the cocoa butter and see if we can come with this hybrid buttercream and see exactly what happens i'm really excited to show you guys all right so all i'm doing now is i'm just cutting up my cocoa butter and putting it in a heat resistant container there's only one face this time you guys the wax the butter and all the liquid oils will be in one heat resistant container and melt it down together how easy and simple is that you guys okay so like i said before you've seen me use olive emulsifying wax before it is considered a uh, emulsifier so it's going to help bring your water and your oil phases together but this time we are completely omitting the water phase and we're just going to do this with the oil phase and see exactly what happens other combinations where you would use just a uh, emulsifying wax and uh, a butter would be kind of like a lip balm or some kind of lotion bar or something like that so that kind of gives you an idea that it can happen but it's usually with solid solid um creations but this time we're gonna see if we can make a cream <laughs> so i'm adding the organic face and body oil from oslo organics and i'm gonna mix that in with the pumpkin seed oil i'm still learning about pumpkin seed oil but the benefits are absolutely ridiculous you guys definitely do your research on pumpkin seed oil don't sleep on it and it's perfect for the holiday it fits in right for this season right so yeah we're going to mix this up with the cocoa butter and the most fire wax and we're going to place our container in some hot water and we're going to just let that melt down on low heat all right so my butter my oil and my waxes are all melted together and look at this beautiful color definitely coming from the pumpkin seed oil i'm going to go ahead and pour this into my mixer bowl because when i place it in the freezer i want to be able to just take it right out mix it up and put it onto my stand mixer and have it mixed up you don't have to do this but it is a quick tip just in case you accidentally have your mixture a little bit harder or freeze a little bit more than you want to you don't have to worry about transferring it to your mixer bowl you know so um that's a quick little tip for you guys We are back and I can definitely say that I wasn't able to freeze it to the extent that I wanted to freeze it before whipping it up. So I'm going to go ahead and say that. Um, so I end up refreezing it later, but I still wanted to show this part and show just, I don't know. It looks very Halloweenish, doesn't it? <laughs> this is definitely a, a little creepy looking. I don't know. Definitely a little creepy looking, but I didn't know what to expect considering the texture of the emulsifying wax and the butter together i wasn't quite sure exactly what i was looking for in order to whip it up but this definitely um was not it so i'm going to show you guys this part anyway you'll see in a minute how it did change colors but it still stayed loose um the reason why is because i get this question a lot actually i get a lot of 
um, people reaching out to me and asking me, why won't their butter mix up or why is it staying loose or whatever like that. Um, and, and I wanted to just, you know, let you guys know that sometimes it can be uh, the ratio of your ingredients. If you have too many oils, um, that could be a reason. And also what could be a reason is if you do not leave it in the freezer long enough, um, then it's not going to allow you to whip it up into uh, a thicker whippier cream okay it's just gonna stay loose um like you see it now no matter how much i whip this is nothing's gonna change and i know that for a fact the only reason why i kept whipping this particular one is because i wanted to see if the emulsifying wax would make a difference than just a regular butter so the emulsifying wax did not help me to whip it up but it did have this beautiful crystallized look to it i can't even describe it beautiful okay but I did place it back in the freezer for five minutes and that was all I needed that extra five minutes gave me the consistency I needed to really whip in as much air as possible and give me that fluffy beautiful texture cream that I was looking for as you guys will see in just a second Y'all, this is just coming out so beautiful. Um, I wanted to show you guys that I did leave some of that mixture that was loose out, and this is what it looks like. So it actually doesn't look bad. I might go back and do it again and try leaving it at that consistency to see what happens. But I just went on and mixed it into this. Now that I see that it mixed very well, um, I went on and mixed it in and just kept mixing until I got this beautiful, fluffy... I don't even know what to call it you guys it definitely is a hybrid it's a mixture between a cream and a butter so most butters when you get that whippiness to it that cool whip like consistency you touch it it melts into your skin blah 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 but with the emulsifying wax it has more stability it's not the right word I'm looking for it has more stability as a cream like it definitely has this consistency that feels like I cannot explain it it is a buttercream <laughs> there's no other way to describe it it's a buttercream when I touched it with my finger it felt like frosting um, and when I mix it here and just spread it out it's like a spreadable butter it's like a, almost like a spreadable butter and I definitely cannot explain that any other way than what I just explained it so I hope you guys understand <laughs> so I'm definitely curious and I want to explore more I want to definitely see what the possibilities are with this hybrid but besides the buttercream hybrid, let's just point out how beautiful this cocoa butter is, okay? It definitely plays a role in this texture. And if you were to use any other butter with this mixture, you will probably get a different consistency. Cocoa butter just gives you such an airy, that's the best way to describe it. It gives you such an airy texture to your butter. I mean, it's just out of this world. I just love how beautiful cocoa butter is and it stands beautifully alone but it equally works well with other butters. If you were to mix cocoa butter with mango butter, which you guys probably have seen me do, I mean, it just makes your mango butter, it just takes it to a whole nother level, a whole nother level um, when it comes to whipping it up, okay? So I'm just gonna place this in a jar as usual, you guys, um, just to see how it holds up in the jar. And then I'm gonna also just place it in a bowl so you guys can see the creaminess of it and I can play around with it with my fingers and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, that that is it, basically. <laughs> I would like to extend my thank you to Oslo Organics once again, who actually brought this idea to me. I never would have thought. When I thought buttercream, I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to get my water, I'm about to get my thickeners, I'm about to get my preservatives. <laughs> I never thought, hey, try it without the water and see what happens. So I'm definitely grateful for the suggestion, you guys. What do you think about it? Would you give this a try? It looks like yummy ice cream, doesn't it? It's so beautiful, guys. It feels like, like air, like beautiful, airy, icing, whipped, frosting. Yeah. <laughs> so why cocoa butter, you guys? Why are we using cocoa butter? Well, there are multiple benefits of cocoa butter. And my biggest thing is I love the texture of it. I love what it does for my formulations, for my creations. But you also want to wonder, okay, what is it exactly is it doing? And that's one thing I like to know when it comes to my ingredients. What is it actually doing? One thing I like about cocoa butter is that 
it's an anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and an antioxidant. So it's definitely helping to prevent damaged skin, but it's also helping to repair damaged skin. So, so I would say it's healing properties. The healing properties of cocoa butter is what makes it so attractive. It's rejuvenating properties for skin and hair. So if you're somebody who's dealing with damaged hair follicles, maybe you want to try cocoa butter. Maybe it's something that could help repair those damaged follicles. Cocoa butter also will not clog your skin, okay? It's not going to clog your pores. You don't have to worry about it. So it's safe enough for your scalp. It's safe enough for your face. It's safe enough for your skin. It's going to improve elasticity for your hair and skin. And like I said before, the benefits are truly endless, you guys. So anyway, that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Hit that notification bell so you won't miss any new DIYs. Go check out Oslo Organics. You cannot go wrong. They have all your DIY needs. If you want fresh, clean ingredients that are non-toxic, that are natural, organic, definitely check out Oslo Organics. And don't forget to check down below for your chance to win this month's butter star which is coconut butter there will be three winners okay so yeah i will see you guys in the next video bye